What's going on everyone? This is Vince with vshred.com. Today, I'm gonna be taking you through my current chest and tricep routine. We're gonna be doing seven different exercises, four for chest, three for tricep. This is gonna be good if you're actually trying to put on noticeable muscle. So if you're looking for a new chest workout, this is the one. All right, so like I said in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through my chest and tricep workout. We're going higher rep ranges, which means lower weight and lower rest. This will be done in under an hour, not including warm up. I usually have like a 15, 20 minute warm up, and I recommend everybody out there doing a 15, 20 minute warm up, just getting their body loose, getting it warm, get the blood flowing. Um, also, another thing that I do before all my workouts, I take pre-workout before every single lift. I'm taking the Sculpt Nation Blue Raz pre-workout today. It helps out with getting a better pump. It helps out with, I think, mental focus more than anything. And also another thing that I highly recommend to anybody out there trying to put on noticeable muscle is taking creatine. I've had a lot of people here on YouTube commenting, saying that I've gotten bigger, and creatine's a big reason why. Obviously, eating and training is huge but this is one of the main factors. And so if you're trying to get bigger, you're trying to get stronger, creatine monohydrate, five grams every single day. These are pretty much my, my go-tos. These are the staples. I'm gonna take this pre-workout real quickly, get into my warm-up, and then we'll get into this lift. All right. All right, so <clears throat> pre-workout's down the hatch. Warm-up is done, I'm feeling good. So first exercise that we're gonna be starting with is an incline dumbbell press. So I'm going for six to eight reps. We're going four sets. We're going a minute and a half rest in between each set. And then on the fourth set, we're gonna be going with a drop set. When you're kicking this back, you wanna make sure the first thing is your shoulders are rolled back and your chest is sticking out. Try not to flare your elbows completely out to the side. You wanna bring them down a little bit and really focus on pressing up through your chest, not losing tension at the top, bringing it back down, holding tension, getting that stretch and pressing back up. Second exercise we're gonna be doing, we're going to be dropping this bench down to flat and we're gonna be doing a dumbbell chest press, flat dumbbell chest press. We are going to be going a higher rep range here. So I'm gonna be going for 12 reps, but we're also gonna be doing alternating. And so we're gonna be going left arm, then right arm. Um, symmetry is one of the most important things when it comes to an aesthetic figure. If I go 60s or 70s here, we're really going for good form, time under tension. One minute rest on the dot, right into the next set. This will be the next exercise. We're going four sets of 12, controlled, uh, time under tension, a minute rest in between. There's two things that are important when it comes to a fly, bringing your arms in and pushing your arms forward. But I always keep a soft bend in my elbows and then keeping that chest out and squeezing them all the way up to the top, really focusing on contracting your chest muscle and bringing it back out and down, and then you're only going about in line or parallel to the ground. So stop there, and you're keeping your chest under tension. Going down, stretch, squeeze that up. Down, stretch, squeeze that up. So I'm gonna go 12 of these, and then rest for a minute. All right, and so for the final chest exercise before we get into triceps, it's just gonna be a regular pec deck machine. Main thing to keep in mind here when you're doing this exercise is the same thing that I was talking about with the incline fly. You don't wanna bring your hands together like that because my elbows have so much more range of motion that they could go in, and that makes all the difference with your chest. Just that to that is a huge difference. And so you wanna really make sure that you are trying to lead with your elbows and you're really only focusing on what your elbows are doing rather than what your hands are doing. So we're gonna go four sets of 12 reps here. So 
So I'm gonna move into triceps now. We're doing three exercises. First one, we're going to be doing a rope tricep extension just because it's one of the best exercises for triceps, for hitting all three heads of your triceps. All right, so for uh, rope tricep extension, um, first things first, I usually take a step back from the rope. I don't like being right under it because at the bottom, I'm not really getting much work on my triceps right here. Whereas if I took a step back, now it's pulling more at a forward angle and my triceps are being worked more. And so you're getting better tension throughout the entire exercise. So take that step back, lock those elbows into place right there, a little bit in front of you, chest out and press this weight down, squeezing at the bottom, return it back up until your arms just past 90 degrees. Keep in good form, time and attention. Four sets of 12 reps, one minute rest in between. All right, four sets of this down. My triceps are already on fire, but probably my favorite tricep exercise is the one that we're doing next. All right, so for this exercise, basically taking this easy bar and you want your wrists to be about shoulder width apart. So you don't want them in too close. You don't want them out too far. You want it about even so that you can get the best angle with the triceps. My starting position will be back here. And so the reason it's back here is when I'm right here, I'm basically just locking my arms out and I'm not really working my triceps much at all. Back here, now I have an angle on my triceps and I'm working them a little bit. So this will be your starting position. And then from here, you're gonna throw your arms back, keeping your elbows in that same spot. And then you're going to squeeze up with your triceps, going right back to starting position. Just going back, keeping your elbows in the same spot, squeezing up to starting position. Back, and then also keeping your elbows tucked, keeping them in as much as possible. Squeezing up, starting position, and back down. So we'll go 12 reps, one minute rest in between, four sets, and then we'll move into the final exercise. Time for the final exercise. We're gonna step over to the cables again, basically doing a single arm cross body extension. So it's just gonna be right here. And I'm going 12, and then I'm switching, and I'm going 12, and then I'm not resting, and I'm going four sets back to back to back to back. This is gonna be a lot heavier than you think it's gonna be. So, I mean, I'm starting at 20 pounds and that'll just allow me to keep my form clean. But basically, you're just grabbing this little ball right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step a little bit away from this cable because the same thing, when I'm right here at the bottom, I can just kind of lock out and I'm just kind of resting a little bit versus being here now it's pulling at an angle. So this is where I'm gonna stand about I guess one arm's length away from this cable pulley. And so here I'm gonna go one, all the way up to 12, two, squeezing, going right back up to 90 degrees. So that's the starting position right there. Four, five, clean form. I'm gonna go all the way to 12, switch arms, and just keep going back and forth four times. That is the entire workout, guys. Seven exercises, but really not that long of a workout just because you're not keeping your rest too long. I think the biggest issue with most people's workouts is they don't time their rest, and so they rest for like two to three minutes and don't realize it. And so keep your rest short when you're doing your workouts. Um, that's just gonna keep your workouts shorter. Um, but that's today's workout, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're looking for a new chest and tricep workout, check this out. Also, if you're looking for a new shoulder workout, um, I posted a video of my current shoulder routine just like this. Um, I'll put a, a card to it up here if you wanna check that out. But if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure that you're doing me a favor and you're clicking the thumbs up button below. It really helps me understand what types of videos you guys wanna see um, and helps the algorithm for other people who are uh, struggling to get in shape. Hopefully this can help them as well. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not yet a part of the V-Shred fam here on YouTube. But that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this helpful. I hope this helps you blow up your chest and triceps and I'll see you in the next one.